All right, welcome back to the channel, Cyborg Pirate, CyborgPirate.com. Been a little bit since we got a couple of videos out. I've actually been uh, working very diligently to become more proficient at flying FPV. So here we are. Who's excited today? This guy. That's right, I am excited today because I have been taking a lot of time to learn how to fly one of these. This is my three and a half inch Baby Hawk 2 HD. If you remember, we did a build on that aircraft. And what I actually did was I bought all the parts and replicated a drone that's already out, which is the Baby Hawk 2 uh, HD. Now, what we're going to do today is we are going to actually hopefully get completed with it, but if not, we're going to do our own build, which is gonna be with our with components that we've selected and build our first five inch quad. So stick around, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and uh, welcome to the channel. All right, so here's what I've decided I'm gonna do. I'm going to actually do this build in at least two videos, maybe three. So first off, let me say thank you to Joshua Bar Bardwell who spent the time to talk with me and uh, correspond with me and help me figure out some of the details I wanted to do for my own quad build. Also, the frame that we're using is the QAVS Joshua Bardwell edition. Also wanna thank the guys over at Race Day Quads and Pyrodrone for their assistance in helping me pick out the, the motors that we're going to use on this. Um, my build is gonna be a little bit different than Joshua's. Um, basically, again, I don't wanna replicate a drone that somebody else has. I wanna build my own, which is what the cool part is about this hobby is that we get that opportunity to personalize our own aircraft, build our own aircraft, and my failures are my failures and my successes are my successes. So uh, gonna have a lot of fun with this. Let's hope we uh, do things in, uh, the correct way, get things done right. But the first part of the video here, I am gonna go through my different part selections and components that I'm putting in this aircraft and talk a little bit about why I have picked these components and we'll go from there. All right, so as I said, we're gonna start out with going through the components that I'm going to do my build with. This is gonna be a five inch quad. And again, I'm going to do this. Uh, this is my first build that is 100% my build. I'm not replicating, copying anything else. So let's get started. I'm gonna turn all this stuff into a five inch quad. All right, so the first thing that got me started was the FPV crate. This edition, is the JB edition, which is Joshua Bardwell. So once again, thank you, Josh. Um, but this is the frame that we are going to be doing this build on. So um, the frame is actually made by Lumineer and this has got Joshua Bardwell's um, approval on it because this is a frame that he worked with them on the already existing Q QAVS and existed to make, or it already existed and they made this to meet his specifications for what he wanted as a light weight five inch quad. So he, I think he is shooting for a range about 700 grams. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be that light on ours, but we do have our scale. We'll be able to figure out what that is, but I'm gonna guess we're probably gonna be about the 730 to 750 range. Now, again, this is my first complete build by myself that I have come up with my own componentry that I want to put in here instead of copying something else that's already been done. In that FPV crate, we also got three of the Hurricane sets of props for it. Again, they're in Joshua Bardwell's purple. So we're gonna kind of stick with that purple. Um, not my favorite color, but I'm gonna go with that color because something different than the typical black and red that the Cyborg Pirate normally uses. So that particular frame, which we'll get into, I had to buy some additional hardware. That was in a follow-up that Josh Joshua put out. I'm gonna call him JB from now on to make it easy for everyone. 
but uh, went with uh, some of the Hicks suggestions and maybe a few of my own modified. So we are going to be doing a high definition Cadex Vista uh, quad. I don't use anything that's analog. I'm Again, I'm still new to FPV and when I got started into it, everything was already headed down the digital path, so that's the way I went. So 3D Brain, or Brain 3D here is their decal, brain3d.com. Brian owns it, does a great job of doing some 3D prints for you. He was able to do these for me in purple. So we we are going to go with some arm pads and also the antenna mount for the Cadex Vista. And that's where I was going with this Cadex Vista talk prior to this. So there I already have the antenna in it. This will mount on the quad itself. And as we get closer to that, and that's brain3d.com. Living on a boat, having a 3D printer just really doesn't make sense because the boat moves. Your prints don't come out right. So having someone who does 3D prints in your back pocket is a good thing to have. Got some purple gaffers tape. Again, purple's not my color, but I picked this up on Amazon. All these links will be down in, be down in the description from where I picked them up. The Cadex Nebula Pro is what we'll be using for our HD quad. Got a 12 millimeter, or 12, excuse me, 12 centimeter cable. I uh, got this from Pyrodrone. Um, this is because the this Cadex Vista Nebula Pro only came with an eight centimeter. They're hard to find right now. I'm sure you've already figured that out. If you're trying to buy any of these components right now, they're very difficult to come by. Uh, as soon as I got this frame or knew this frame was coming out, I started ordering the parts that I thought I wanted. I was waiting for JB's video to come out and say what he was using. And so I do have some things that are the same and a lot of things that are different. But anyway, I could only get the 8 centimeter coax cable, so I'll be changing that out on that Nebula Pro as well. And we'll go through that if we need to. All right, so let's get into the brains and the power of the... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a song with that. Oh, wait, they already have one. It's, I've got the brains, you've got the brawn. Just kidding. So, <laughs> I know. This... Actually, let me grab the right one. This is where the magic is going to happen. So this right here, let me show you the front of it. This is the JB Edition F7 JB controller. This is made by iFlight. So this particular controller is got all kinds of goodies with it. Lots of big pads to do all of your soldering. Um, as many of you know, I'm new to soldering, so I have spent a lot of time learning how to solder so that when I got to these builds, I was able to do that. Lots of nice pads. You have the mini USB connection and you've got the SD card slide for the black box memory and also the direct plugins with all of the wiring harnesses plugins that you need come with this kit. This particular one is exactly how we hook up the flight controller to the Sussex ESC, 4-in-1 ESC. 50 amp. Um, this is what makes the motors go. This is going to be a great little build. I'm very excited about this. They sent an XT60 connector with a 50, yes, a 50 volt capacitor. And again, additional hardware things that we're, we are going to need more wiring. Um, again, all the harnesses and everything you need. This is a nice little kit from Race Day Quads, so that's where I picked this up. This whole kit's $92. Um, guess what? As soon as Josh 
excuse me, as soon as JB put out his, uh, his build, they went out of stock. Everybody was picking these up, which I don't know why people didn't know that he was, or why they didn't anticipate. That's what I did. I anticipated he was going to be using his own flight controller for his build, and he did. Um, so why they didn't jump on top of that and have these pre-ordered like I did, I don't know, um, but I was able to get them. Now, um, by the way, race day quads, send you a nice little strap. Um, be using that on this build. Loctite to hold things together. And a couple of different purple zip ties, different colors, got these off Amazon. Uh, again, for just kind of keep things kind of going with the purple flow. And speaking of the purple flow, this is the part I'm probably the most excited about. And that's because, again, this is something that I'm doing different than JB did or um, others. But the motors that I picked, now I will tell you, if you watch JB's YouTube channel on his build, he used the FPV cycle motors, which um, are a great motor to have out there and, and, and good for his build. They are also out of stock for the next two months, but he chose to do that build anyway and uh, doing with those motors because he really likes them. So um, I did look at a number of different motors and again, I want to thank Pyrodrone and I also would like to thank Race Day Quads and Joshua Bardwell himself for taking the time to uh, talk with me and correspond with me and helping me decide on what motors I picked. And the motors that I picked that I'm very excited about are the Zing 22 excuse me, 2306 next gen 2450 KV. Let me turn that around so you can actually see it. There we go. 2450 KV in purple. They come with the mounting screws and the prop nut. Um, chances are I won't be using those mounting screws and the reason being is because the JB edition of the QAVS frame, which is the, going to be the base of all this stuff, comes with the correct size mounting screws for that frame itself. Um, if you want to get more of the specs on the frame, look up JB, uh, look up Joshua Bardwell, uh, FPV Know It All, and look up his frame and his specs. He goes through it. He shows you how to build it. Um, talks about what he has in it and why they've done the things that they have, but I think it's going to be a very exciting frame to build, and I am excited about it being my first build. So I'm going to learn something, and uh, thank you, Joshua, as you said, you're going to learn something today. Yes, I am. I'm going to learn something today. So hopefully you all take the time to learn with me and enjoy this build, and let's get to it. 